How's it going everybody? David here with SolarPowerMyRV.com and today I just want to give you guys a quick tour of this solar system we just completed on this Intec Sol travel trailer. So starting on the roof we installed 600 watts of solar that includes one of these 200 watt rich solar panels and four of these 100 watt rich solar panels. You typically want to put as many solar panels as you can get on your roof or at least 300 watts of solar per every 100 amp hours of battery. So moving on to the inside, this is where we installed the battery monitor and the inverter monitor. Right above the 12 volt fridge here. Now this is your battery monitor, which is the circle one, and we have the inverter control monitor, which is the square one. Now this battery monitor is gonna tell you all your battery information, your voltage, your amps, your watts, how much amp hours you consume, your percentage, and how much time you have left remaining on battery power. Now, this is also a Bluetooth and has an app for it as well. So down to the right here under the dinette seat is where we installed the two lithium batteries and the inverter. So we have two of these Rich Solar 100 amp hour batteries, which are rated to last for over 10 years. And they're lightweight, they're about 20 pounds each and they're maintenance free and then we have the solar controller here which is going to take your solar panel power and turn into charging power for your batteries and then around here this is the 2000 watt Victron Multi Plus inverter charger so this is going to power everything in your RV from the batteries like the microwave and all of your outlets when you run your generator or when you're on shore power, this inverter will automatically turn into a lithium battery charger and recharge your batteries at a really fast rate. It could recharge this battery bank from 0% to 100% in about two and a half hours. So your solar and your battery monitor both have apps. So if you pull up the Victron Connect app, you'll see your solar here and you can click on solar and just see what the solar is producing at this moment. So we're in absorption and we're full and we're pulling in 100 watts. And if you click here, you can also see your battery monitor. And this will tell you the same battery information as the little circle monitor screen. So we're gonna go ahead and test it out here by running the microwave. And I'll kind of show you how the time remaining feature works on the battery monitor, because that's one of the most important features. So once you start running a load like the microwave, you can go ahead and look at your monitor. You can see it's pulling about 1400 watts. And if you look, scroll down here to your hours remaining, it'll slowly calculate, you know, how much time you have left remaining just on battery power, running whatever you're running at this given moment. And once you turn it off, you can see it'll start calculating the opposite way. And it says we had infinite time remaining because we had more power coming in than we're using here. So if we're gonna go ahead and try the coffee pot here and see if it can run a coffee pot because if you can't run coffee with your solar, it's not really worth it. So I'm gonna go to the monitor here and you can see we're at 98.8%. And um, the coffee pot is just about done here. So if we look at our monitor here, we're at 97%. So we used 2% of the battery to run a pot of coffee. Get your free online solar estimate today at solarpowermyrv.com. We are conveniently located in Denver, Colorado, right off of Interstate 25 and the Rocky Mountain National Park exit.